If Stacy liked the Dremel work on the fireplace, so we're doing a little bit more of it here. And uh, he has a really cool idea. He's going to paint uh, magnetic paint uh, in this section here, this square, and then he's going to paint whiteboard paint over the top of that, uh, creating a whiteboard that's magnetic. Pretty good idea. Um, and he wrangled me into doing more stenciling to the uh, contour for the hand. Um, and then this is just sort of a fun design. You can do any design you want, but this is something I used to doodle in high school and uh, just sort of stayed with me throughout the years. The main thing is just to keep it, just like a texture, just keep it abstract and uniform. So that's what we're doing. And then when we get done, when I get done stenciling here, we're going to use the gold brush metallic in the sealer to accentuate and the, the gold will actually sit in the low points of the stenciling. Using to the what I'm doing here, I just want to keep them all different but uniform. It is somewhat time consuming, but it's so worth it. The results are really cool. Everybody just seems to like it. it. Actually, it feels, feels kind of crude when I'm doing it. Um, so I think we're good. We went out a little bit there in the corner, but uh, it's okay. This is art. So then we've got our gold rash metallic sealer here already mixed up. Jack was so kind as to go and get this for us. This is actually from another job, so this stuff does cheap pretty well. Scoop a little of this. Again, about one ounce to one milliliter of metallic. One milliliter of metallic per one ounce of a, a clear acrylic. That's what we're using here. And I think we'll just use the one that sealer sitting in there. The sealer's clear. The gold is mixed in with it, so it'll all it'll kind of little six inch here is just worn in awesomely. It's nice and flexible. They get kind of nice after you use them for a while, huh? Yeah. Okay. And I just want to make sure we go through. I'll leave it kind of heavy. It's okay. Again, these Dremel tools are at uh, Home Depot. They're really cool. There's all kinds of little attachments, but like the way it just Pull sits there, you can well use it kind of like a pin. Sealer is still damn. Uh oh, what's going on there, Chad? Uh. <laughs> you went outside the lines. Uh, I don't know what coloring. happened there. <laughs> Uh, someone came in after me and messed around. Jack, someone must have yeah. came in after, yeah. after Jack there on that one. Yeah. Hooligans, I tell you. So just come over here, Jack, and show them. This is kind of what the gold looks like. You got nice light here. So this fireplace is finished in fresco harmony. And uh, this was real deep here, so we got really good deep gouges in here. But you can see I use gold. On this surface here, I use copper metallic in the sealer, and then on this surface I use gold just to create a really subtle um, difference there. It's just it's just an embellishment, really, is all it is. But, uh, yeah, if you get in there close, you can see where that gold sits in, sits in the grooves and it sort of highlights our etching, which is really 